What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about how to surround yourself with the person you want to become. Da, da, da. The first thing I have to bring up on this subject of surrounding yourself with the person that you want to become is the friends and relationships that you welcome into your life with open arms, okay? The people that are closest to you, whether that's your family, whether that's your friends, whether that's your girlfriend or boyfriend, these people, their energy, their mindset, their daily habits and routines will rub off onto your energy. Their energy will become a part of your energy the more time that you spend with them and vice versa. This is how humans interact and impact each other. The books that you are reading, and I'll tell you this, if you're not reading any books, you're already far behind because there's many people that already know this secret. Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, if you haven't read that, get on it. Uh, another obvious one, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, if you haven't read that get on it and also the millionaire booklet by Grant Cardone it's a little 42 page book it's really easy to read you can read it in a matter of an hour every single day the books that you are reading today will determine your future so whatever book you decide to put time and energy into make sure that it's for a purpose for a reason what do you want to build on what do you want to improve on and then pick that and do that another topic I'm gonna talk about around surrounding yourself with the person that you want to become is the videos that you choose to watch it's important to have times to relax in times that aren't always working and this may be a time that you open up YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is that you are opening up to relax. Uh, whether you're the type of person that likes to watch TV shows and relax without having to think too much and trying to learn or you're the type of person that just wants to watch uh, motivational okay. self-development content all the time and you're okay with sacrificing watching TV shows to relax. I'm going to give you some advice. The, the videos that you're watching are subconsciously affecting you probably even more so than the books that you were reading because when you're watching TV your brain actually goes into a beta frequency which means that you are basically more inclined to listen to things that are being said to you and you're e more easily influenced when watching videos because of the way that your brain is working so make sure that if you're watching a TV episode or whatever it is that you're relaxing to calm down that you have some sort of subconscious reason why you're watching it. You know, maybe the main character has uh, uh, some characteristics that you want to have in yourself. Maybe uh, you see yourself in the main character, you, you know, a hero type of character. Don't get lost watching stupid shows like Family Guy or South Park or some stupid show that has no value to you because you're going to subconsciously pick up on their behavior, the characters in the show, and that's not going to help you at all, in life, might I say. The next topic, and might I say probably one of the most important of these topics is the work that you choose. Because the work that you choose, unless you are already a millionaire, which uh, then I, I think you're doing pretty well right now, then you probably have to work a nine to five job. So let me ask you, do you enjoy the hours that you spend at your work? What type of challenges do you want to go into work and face every single day? What type of challenges are you okay with? A lot of people when they're looking at jobs that they want to acquire, they look at the pay, or they look at the amount of hours they're going to get, or they look at the amount of vacation time, or the benefits, or some other bull crap like this. But you don't want to look at that. You want to look at something that you can wake up every morning to with a smile and skip to work because you're happy. Do you want a job that you can get up to and skip to work every day because you're happy about the challenges that you're going to work to face? You're happy because it's making you grow in some way, shape, or form. You know, if you like food, make sure you work in a restaurant. It can be something small. Like if you like music, like make sure you're doing something that has to do with music. You know, if you don't really know what you want to work, then go get a simple job that you can you can work in and you can think the whole time that you're working. You have a lot of time to think. Uh, if you want a job where you're low key, you want to be low key and just like not you know let you want to be left alone at your job. Then get a job that you can maybe listen to um, something in your your ears all day at work or a job where you don't need to be working with other people. You know, or if you want to be working with other people, make sure you have a job that you're talking to people all day. You know, for, for me, I like sales because it helps me grow what I do, which is 
I want to do public speaking, I am doing public speaking, and I want to get better at it so that I can better communicate to people throughout my life. So that's what sales helps me to do, you know? And with sales, you're going to have a lot of different products. So there's a lot of different things to experiment with in sales. I just drop that little golden nugget on you guys. And if you don't like that, then there's also a lot of simple jobs that are really low key, like delivery, you can make up to 100 bucks a night. You can basically chill with yourself and you can listen to podcasts or you can listen to audiobooks in your car or do whatever you want while you're in your car and it's more you're more by yourself. You know, or maybe being an independent contractor, which is also a sales position. You gotta find work that you're okay with doing because people who are especially millennials and Gen Zers, we freaking hate work. We just wanna be working for ourselves. And I get that, you know, I'm working towards that process myself, but we have to be okay with the process itself, right? Like Gary Vaynerchuk likes to say. So you have to be okay with the job that you have now because if you're not okay with the job that you have now, then in the future, you're only manifesting more frustration. You gotta get used to being okay with where you are in life, small step by small step. And the last topic I will talk about today on surrounding yourself with the right person that you wanna become is the food and drinks that you choose to consume every single day because these things will determine the amount of energy that you feel, it will determine how clear your thinking process is. It will determine what your body looks like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the line. It will determine how your body looks like a week or a month down the line. Okay, so it matters a lot. Now, I'm not here to give you a big, long, hard speech on just drinking water and going vegan for the rest of your life, but um, I will say that getting down to some basics of health and fitness is absolutely necessary. One thing that I think everybody should be doing without question is the majority of the liquids that they should be consuming is water, number one. Number two, the majority of all foods that you are eating should be prepared by yourself or another human being, not some GMO microwavable meal. Okay, these are just some simple instructions to be healthy. And then number three, work out for at least 30 minutes to one hour every single day, even if that means kicks in. Even if that means you're throwing around the football for an hour, you're doing something to stay and remain active because the things that you do every single day will transition for the rest of your life. So make sure that you're constantly focused on that ripple effect and what you can do to strengthen your momentum. It's almost like you're creating your own little bubble of routines for yourself. Brainwash yourself in success because in order to be a millionaire or in order to be a billionaire, you have to first be a millionaire or a billionaire before you have the money in your bank account. In order to have a six pack, you have to first walk around and think like you have a six pack. You have the daily actions of someone with a six pack. You have the daily actions of someone who has three thousand in their bank. You have the daily actions of someone who has respect from their friends, family, and peers. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so below. Hit the bell for post notifications. Make sure to drop me a like and also make sure to comment because I comment back to literally every single one of you guys. In the last video, I got more comments than I've ever gotten. I wanted to thank you guys for that. Let's blow this channel up. Come on, let's do it. I'll see you guys in a week. Peace and love. every day what you choose to surround yourself with blah 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 more assertive you're mentoring somebody I'm mentoring you now you will listen the wind is overpowering my voice